God bless you, God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. <clears throat> the Lord is good. The Lord Jesus is so awesome, precise, and full of love for us. Listen, I want to share what it is means to understand um, Ephesians 3. Verse 20 is a very um, known scripture for most of all, maybe. <clears throat> and I want um, touched a little bit, I want to point it a little bit out, and also I want to speak about um, um, the enemy from this uh, verse. <laughs> I say it on another way so you. <laughs> You um, have to be <laughs> listen to this, <laughs> so you get more understanding what I mean. Listen, um, the Bible teaches this in Ephesians three twenty. Now unto him that is able to do, talks about God, by the Spirit of God. Now it now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think. That is way before what we can think or can generate or can fix or make by ourselves in our thoughts and feelings in what we think and see and <clears throat> it's it's that that speaks about our own limitations it speaks about our own guidelines from the world what, what we use in our thinking so we will protect ourselves and God say I want to stretch out your mind by this first by this word i give it to you listen very key i want to stretch your mind and if you read in the bible you 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 think by yourself it's a hard book it is difficult i want i want don't difficulties in my life listen if you want to grow if you want to prosper in your life then you have to listen to the word of god and to stretch your mind with the word of God, with all the possibilities from God, what is more above all what you think and what you can feel and can imagine. That's a very big... Uh, then you can stretch your mind and you can more uh, receive from God. Otherwise you think uh, God is the old man with a white beard and that's all. And yes, he can do wonders. Yes, he do wonders for us, for others. And, for me, give me a little money and it's okay. But that's not, if you don't live in abundantly, then you cannot live to in the purpose of God and you don't can help other people or love other people. Loving is not only with words or saying hello, it's awesome that you do that, but there is loving also in giving and serving and and there's more need, there, there is more to do. Okay. Listen, now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all things we ask or think. It's, it's amazing. Ask, we pray for it and we're thinking. We're thinking about this also in prayer. According to the power that worked in us. Um, listen, the power, the power. What is the power in us? And that is the Holy Spirit in us. And... I want to give a size, a size of what is in us. Yeah, we have, if we make a picture and we see the likeness in a picture, then we understand is we are blessed. If you are a Christian, you are very blessed by understanding. And that's what I teach most of all, get understanding by all what you have. And first thing is, wisdom and with wisdom build up a mind from the word of God and let this word become flesh so you get understanding <clears throat> there must be an understanding I want to go to uh, John first John and maybe for you <coughs> sorry maybe for you um, and also a famous script ye are of God if you are from God it's very important if you give your life to God, you live to the guidelines of the Word of God, you are from God. Little children, have I overcome them? 
ye of God, ye, ye, you are of God, little children, and have overcome them. That means the world. Because greater is he in you than he in, is in the world. It talks about Jesus. You have to know um, the size in what is in you. Then you understand it. You can of, overcome everything, uh, not by your own thinking, but if you understand he is in you, God is in you, by the word, by the word of God. And in the world it speaks about the devil. And here yeah, you are of God, little children, and this 1 John 4, verse 4. Uh, you overcome them with your faith. That is your faith that overcome the the world, the, the spirits of the world. And I want to read this very I mentioned this scripture very much that I was surprised the last year in church that many times I don't know people where is Christ. And I teach this also in others. Um, and because our, we are sons of God, we give your life to God, you baptize and you give your life to God, your 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 death on your former life, and now you're living by the word of God, you are sons. God had sent forth his spirit of his son into your heart and and then you know crying Abba Abba Father <coughs> He Jesus is bigger <laughs> above everything what is in this world. If you you have to understand this that you uh, that's the power that's working in you is in you. That's the anointing. That's the anointing. Okay. Um And anointing, I don't read it uh, for you, you read it for yourself. It's 1 John 22, 27. Had the anointing teaching all things. And your heart is sealed also, teaches the word. Your heart is sealed by Christ. Listen, I want to mention one thing. It's, um, then you have more understanding. And also, I want to give you more. Uh, I want to share with you that uh, what is... The enemy from, um, the enemy from our anointing, from our Christ or for Jesus, the Bible teaches if the the enemy is from Christ in our lives is the flesh. The first enemy is the flesh. The flesh fights against uh, uh, the the spirit of God, and it's very uh, good to know that if you make your flesh strong, then you are in problems. And I want to read first um, yeah, it was also Galatians five or seventeen. Yeah, and my laptop is uh, did no longer work and listen. By, uh, the Bible says this, this I, I say then, walk in the spirit and ye shall not fulfill the lust of flesh. If you fulfill the will uh, of flesh, then you are in trouble. You, 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 your uh, flesh will fight against uh, the spirit. For the flesh lusted against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary to one to each other so that ye cannot do the things that you will. I want to round it up and I want to use other scripture. So be, uh, let it very clear for you, if you are investing in your flesh, then you um, making your flesh stronger against the spirit and you don't can live any longer in the spirit. What this means is, um, what is that you, I, I want to read this for you, and it's already, I read it for you. Then I say, walk in the spirit and shall not fulfill the lust of flesh. If you fulfill the will of your flesh, the, the lust, then you living by your emotions and your flesh, your desires of the flesh, and you're no longer um, walking in the will of God, and then sooner or later you 
make your flesh so strong that you depart from God. You close your heart for God by your lust and your 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 fulfilling from your lust. It's a, it's a fruit. That's the fruit of the lust. Is, is that teach us to, uh, James one, and uh, then you are in big trouble. Listen, I want to round it up. Dearly beloved, I beseech you as strange uh, programs, abstain, abstain from fleshly lust, which war against the soul, war against God. That is one Peter uh, two eleven. I give you a key and more understanding uh, about what your invest that soul will be grow, and if you uh, not fulfill the flesh, the world of the flesh, and of course you enjoy life, you enjoy eating, but if you enjoy flesh and um, more than the spirit life, if you invest more in uh, going out eating and driving fast cars and all kinds of nice things of life and you don't invest, invest in your relationship with God, you are out of balance and sooner or later the, the, you, uh, the, it's, it's, it's Galatians 5 verse 17 is this, if you make the flesh so strong it's a wall between in your heart and separate your spirit in your inner spirit man it makes a wall, um, your lust make a wall, and you are, your your inner spirit man is closed off from uh, that God. God can enter in your heart and, uh, and have communication, have communion with you. <coughs> okay. And listen, um, he that is in you is bigger, mightier, um, more love, um, amazing, awesome than he is in the world. And that's my prayer for you also, that the Lord keep you and bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen.